warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, welcome. Today we are going to learn about phonetics, especially articulatory phonetics. From one of Churchill's books, The Study of Language. So, what is phonetics? According to you, phonetics is the general study of the characteristics of speech sounds. There are at least three main areas of phonetics, and our main interest will be in articulatory phonetics, which is the study of how speech sounds are made or articulated. There are also other areas of phonetics. Acoustic phonetics deals with the physical properties of speech as sound waves in the air and auditory phonetics which deals with the perception of speech sounds via the ear. Again, here we are going to focus on articulatory phonetics because this is the study of how speech sounds are made or articulated. In articulatory phonetics, we investigate how speech sounds are produced by using our oral equipment. How is the process? We start with the air pushed out by the lungs up through the trachea to the larynx. Inside the larynx are the location of our vocal cords, which may take two basic positions. The first position is when our vocal cords are drawn together, the air from the lungs repeatedly pushes the vocal cords apart as it passes through, creating vibration. The sounds produced in this way are described as voiced, such as Z. Let's try to produce this sound and place a fingertip on the top of your Adam's apple. Let's try it. Z. Can you feel some vibration? Yes, sure. That's why this is called voice sound. The second position is when our vocal cords are spread apart and the air from the lungs passes between the vocal cords unimpeded. The sounds produced in this way are described as voiceless. Like when we produce the sound of Can you feel the difference between Z and S? Yes, when we produce Z sound, we can feel some vibration. But when we produce S sound, there is no vibration. This is voiced and voiceless sound. Next. Once the air has passed through the larynx, it comes up and out through the mouth and or the nose. The tongue and other parts of the mouth constrict the shape of oral cavity where 
the air passes through. And the location where this constriction takes place is called place of articulation. So, next, we are going to investigate the consonant sounds in terms of where they are articulated or the place of articulation. The first one, we have bilabials. These are sounds formed using both upper and lower ribs. But like in pad, which is represented by the symbol, and this is voiceless. But like in pad, this is the symbol, and this is voiced because there is no vibration. Um, like in mad, which is represented by the symbol, and this is also voiced. Like in walk, this is the symbol and this is voiced. So we have four sounds for bilabials. One of them is a voiceless and three of them are voiced. Here we have to know that these are not the letters of rhythm enemies. These are the sound symbols of spoken English. So remember that the sounds of spoken English do not match up to the letters of written English. Here it is, the location of bilabials. The sounds that are produced by using both our upper and lower lips. The second one, we have labiodentals. These are sounds formed with the upper teeth and the lower lip. We have like in fat, calf, photo, which is represented by this symbol. And because there is no vibration, this is voiceless. We also have v, like in vet or save. This is the symbol, and this is voiced. So in labiodentals, we have two sounds, which is voiceless, and v, which is voiced. The third one, we have dentals. These are sounds formed by the tongue tip behind the upper front tip. Just try to make your tongue tip behind your upper front teeth and produce the sounds. Like in thin, thin. This is the symbol which is usually called as theta. And this is voiceless because there is no vibration. Mm, like in there or then, which is represented by this symbol, at, and this is voiced. So in dentals, we have two sounds, which is voiceless and which is voiced. The fourth one, we have alveolars. These are sounds formed with the front part of the tongue on the alveolar ridge. What is alveolar ridge? And where is it? Alveolar ridge is the rough ridge behind and above the upper teeth. And here it is, the location of the alveolar ridge. Okay, so let's try to produce the sounds. Tuh, like in top, which is represented by the symbol, and this is voiceless. S, like in sit, which is represented by the symbol, and this is voiceless. Al, like in lab, this is 
the symbol and this is voice z in zu this is the symbol and this is voice Palatals. These are sounds produced with the tongue and the palate. What is palate and where is it? This is the location of the palate. Let's try to produce the sounds by using our tongue and the palate. Shh, like in shout which is represented by the symbol and this is voiceless Ch, like in child which is represented by the symbol mm -hmm. and this is voiceless we have also here for trees this is the symbol and this is voiced we have ch, like in choke or george this is the symbol and of course this is voiced the last one we have y sound, like in U or Y. This is the symbol, and this is voiced. So for palatals, we have five sounds. Two of them are voiceless, and three of them are voiced. Next, we have velars. These are sounds produced with the back of the tongue against the velum. This is the location of the velum. Let's try to produce the sounds. Okay. Like in kid, cold, car, which is represented by the symbol, and this is voiceless. Okay. Like in go, con, give, this is the symbol, and this is voiced. We have a sound like in sing or tongue. This is the symbol which is usually called as angma and this is voiced. So for fillers, we have three sounds. One of them is voiceless and two of them are voiced. The last one, we have glutal. Here, there is no active use of the tongue and other parts of the mouth. Let's try to produce this kind of sound. What sound is it? Like in house or who? This is represented by this symbol. And absolutely, this is voiceless. That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.